computers are used worldwide everywhere. They have been a great invention. The first computer that was designed was called the C1 by Conrad Zuse in 1936 and was invented in 1938 in order to prepare for World War II. The Z1 was one of the first binary computers. Zeus used it to explore several groundbreaking technologies in calculator development. The Z1 was destroyed in 1943 in the war. Then Conrad Zeus invented the Z2 and Z3 based off the many of the same ideas as the Z1. The Harvard Mark I was completed in 1944 by Professor Howard Eichen and designed and built by IBM. Harvard Mark I was a room-sized relay-based calculator. The machine had 50-foot long camshaft and synchronized them with thousands of component parts. The Mark I was used to produce mathematical tables but was soon superseded by stored computers. After a few years later, the transaction system was created by Felker and Harrison program. It was the first program which allowed people to share things such as messages, photos, and videos. After the release of the system, it was first announced by Tradic, AT&T, and Bell. Tradic contained nearly 800 transistors instead of vacuum tubes, and Bell enabled the computers to operate on fewer than 100 watts. In 1968, Marvin Minsky developed a tentacle arm, which moved like an octopus. It had 12 joints designed to reach around things. The PDP computer controlled the arm, and it was powered by hydraulic fluids. It was also mounted on a wall and had enough power to lift a person. In 1972, the first keyboard with display was invented. It was called the TV Typewriter. The TV Typewriter was designed by Don Lancaster and it provided alphanumeric information in a normal TV set, so it was like a secondary TV. Not only that, it included two memory boards and could generate and store 512 characters and 16 lines and 32 characters. A 90-minute cassette tape would be provided supplementary storage for about 100 pages of text. In 1977, the Apple II was released. It was an instant success of Apple because of its incredible graphics. It came with printed circuit motherboard, switching power supply, keyboard, case assembly, manual game pedals, AC power cord, and cassette tape with computer game called Breakout. Also, the first computer that was released by Radio Shack. It was called the TRS-80. It was sold for 10,000 units. More than the company projected sale of 3,000 units for one year. It cost at the price of $599.95. The machine included Z80 based microprocessor, a video display, 4 kilobyte of memory, a basic cassette storage, and, and easy to understand manuals that assume no prior knowledge of the part of the consumer. In 1978, the WAX 11780 from Digital Equipment Corp featured the ability to address up to 4.3 GB of virtual memory, providing hundreds of times of capacity of most microcomputers. Texas Instruments introduced Speak and Spell, a learning aid for ages 7 and up. It was Mark's first electronic duplication of human vocal track on a single chip of silicon. Speak and Spell transformed digital information processed through a filter which could store more than 100 seconds of human learning sound. These were the people who the credit goes to for making the Speak and Spell software. Jenny Frantis, Richard Riggins, Paul Bredlove, and George Brantingham. In 1994, Yahoo was founded by graduate students from Sanford named Jerry David and Yang Philip. Yahoo started out as Jerry Guided to the World Wide Web, which we call WWW. Yahoo quickly expanded to become the world's most popular search engines, which we use nowadays. One year later, Google was invented by two students who were also graduated from Stanford named Larry Page and Sergey. Brin met it at Stanford University as graduated in computer science. Now I'm about to show you a video of the story of Google. Google invented in 1995.
by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. These are the patterns of the internet. In 1996, they make a search engine. Then they found a perfect name for it. Then Google becomes Google INC. In 1998, the home page launches. In 1999, they move to Mountain Roof. They go and choose a perfect logo which would work. In 2001, Google Image starts. In 2002, Google News starts which allows people to read news on Google. In 2007, Google Street View has begun. In 2008, Google Chrome is invented. Also, the G1, the first Google Mobile. What next, Google? for your attention.